Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp messages to your newly generated Typeform lead. So you have generated a new lead called as John from Typeform. So you want to thank John on WhatsApp. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the details of John from Typeform and manually send a message on WhatsApp. But if you are generating many, many leads, then this will become repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So here, when a new form submission is made in Typeform, it will automatically send a message on WhatsApp. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Typeform and WhatsApp. The best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here, just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on Access Now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create Workflow. Click this. Our dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Type Form to WhatsApp. Type Form to WhatsApp and then just click on create. Okay, so we are going to create a new workflow. Now after creating this workflow, I will attach the link of this workflow in the description box as well. So just in case, if you want to access this workflow, you can directly clone it into your account by signing up for free. Okay, so when you click on OK, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as type form. Type form. Okay, because we want to send the data from type form. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new entry. Okay, so new entry is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new entry is made or a new form submission is made in type form, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is only one trigger event that is new entry. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new entry is made in type form. Okay, so just click on connect to type form. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with type form. Okay, so just uh, scroll down and here you will find accept. Just click on accept. Excellent, so it is showing the authorization is successful, just press OK. So when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. There are two blanks, one is for form and other one is for webhook URL. Traditionally, what we do is basically we select our triggering app as well as the triggering event. So after we have selected both of these, we basically copy the webhook URL into the triggering software. Now, uh, in this case, we don't have to do that. In this case, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, it will connect with the form that is mentioned here. So as you can see, the form that is mentioned here is MailChimp subscriber. And when we click here, you will find two forms that is MailChimp subscriber and registration for PHP workshop. So let me take you to uh, type form to explain you that. So these are the two forms I have MailChimp subscribers and registration for PHP workshop. The two forms that is present here is being reflected here. So my point is, since a type form is uh, integrated with public connect, any variation that is bought in type form will be reflected in public connect. So your question is, what if I create a new form? So let me just uh, create a new form. Okay, so let me just click on start from scratch. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to just uh, create a new form. So the name of the form is uh, form data entry. Form data entry 101. Okay. So let me just uh, click on continue and let me just click on publish. This is just an experimental form. Okay, so let me just go to public connect and let me just refresh this. So when I click on refresh, I can expect that uh, this uh, newly created form will be available in the drop down. So let me do that. Let me just click on refresh. Okay, so let us see. Yes, we do have a form called as form data entry 101. So the presence of this uh, form shows that we have really integrated type form and public connect because any variation that is bought in type form will be reflected in public connect. Now the idea is that we want to uh, integrate this particular form that is registration for PHP workshop with public connect. So let me just uh, click on save and send this request. Okay, so this particular form that is registration for PHP workshop has been integrated with public connect. So let me just uh, take you to that form. Okay, 
so this is the form registration for php workshop and uh, since this particular form is integrated with public connect any response that is created in this form will be captured by public connect so to ensure that public connect captures this data let me just click on this button capture webhook response okay so it is showing it is waiting for the data so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click here and click on share so we are going to enter some dummy details to this form so i'm just going to copy this link so this is the link of this form and I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay. So this is the full name of the person, Roger Manuel. Okay. So this is the email of Roger, Roger Manuel123 at the rate gmail.com. Okay. So this is the email. And of course, this is the phone number. Okay. So let me just uh, press OK. And the city where he resides is, let's say, uh, Houston. Okay. So let me just uh, click on submit. Okay, so the form submission has been made by a guy called as Roger Manuel. So let's have a look in Public Connect. Has it uh, captured the detail of this guy, Roger Manuel? Yes, the data has been captured. So let's have a look. So the title is Registration for uh, PHP Workshop. So let us uh, scroll down and find out all the details. So the name is uh, Roger Manuel. Then we have the email as rogermanuel123 at the rate gmail.com. And of course, this is the phone number. And basically, this is the same number where we will be sending the WhatsApp message. And of course, this is the... Uh, place where he resides excellent so basically we have got all the details now we have to thank roger on his whatsapp number so this is the whatsapp number so to deal with whatsapp uh, we are going to use chat api so let me just click on this uh, plus button so when we click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as chat api because using chat api we will be sending the whatsapp messages now in the action event how about we make it as send a message okay send a message is an action event there are many more action events like create group art participants to group send files send link and so on all of them are a bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you have trouble finding the action events according to your choice you can make a request to our teammate to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send a message on whatsapp via chat api so just click on connect with chat api okay so now in the new credentials we have to fill in the api url as well as the token so to get the api url as well as the token let's have visit chat api so this is my chat api account and this is the api url you want so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to copy this okay i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here okay so we have entered our api url now coming to the token so i'm just going to copy this this is the token we want copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have entered the api url we also have entered our token so let me just click on save Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message in chat API from the data that we have received from Typeform via Public Connect. So for instance, we have the contact and group. So we don't have any group. So we are just going to ignore this. Now coming to this part called as the phone number. We are just going to press here. So this is the mapping button. So when we click this, you will find all the data that is available from the trigger. So we are selecting trigger. Okay, so let me just just uh, scroll down and find out where is our phone number so let me just uh, scroll down okay so this is our phone number so we have mapped it so basically we will be sending the message to this particular phone number okay excellent now coming to the message uh, we will type a simple message hello and we are going to map in the name again going back to the uh, data that we have received from trigger so hello Aaron Roger Manuel okay thanks for filling out the form a very simple message thanks okay hello roger thanks for filling out our filling out our filling out the form and uh, you are eligible the workshop you will be getting the confirmation quotes at your house in so his house was in i think in houston so let's uh, just type where is houston okay yes this is the uh, place where he resides houston excellent okay hello uh, roger manuel thanks for filling out the form you're eligible for the workshop we will be getting confirmation codes at your house in houston excellent so basically this is the message this is the phone number so when i click on save and send test request uh, it will send the message on chat api so let me do that let me just uh, click on save and send test request 
okay so the api response is showing the message has been sent so let's have a look let me show you the message okay so this is the message hello roger manuel for thanks for filling out the form you are eligible for the workshop you will be getting confirmation codes at your house okay and houston okay excellent so the presence of this message shows that we have successfully integrated type form and whatsapp with help of public connect so about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but uh, before we do that uh, let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm going to minimize this action window and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrate a type form to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to chat api as to send the message so there is a perfect flow of data between type form and chat api okay so what i'm going to do next is uh, i'm going to make uh, some more entries okay so the full name is this time is uh, Sarada Mixi okay Sarada Mixi and this is her email Sarada Mixi123 at the rate gmail.com okay uh, so this is uh, Sarada's phone number okay so this is Sarada's phone number and she resides in let's say New York okay so let me just click on submit okay so the form has been submitted by a person called as sarada and uh, let's have a look uh, did she get a confirmation message on whatsapp for registering for php workshop okay so this is the message and she has got the message excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new form submission is made in type form it will be reflected as a message via chat api in whatsapp not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.